Hi, my name is Ken Davidian, and welcome to the second season of Organization Theory in Space. In this series, I'm making one video for every chapter in the Oxford Handbook of Organizational Change and Innovation, second edition, edited by Marshall Scott Poole and Andy Vandeven. This video covers chapter 33 of the handbook, entitled The Performative Picture, Thinking About Change as if Change Mattered. This chapter is a thought piece on the two perspectives of change. The first perspective sees change as a series of events fixed in time and relevance called the synoptic or entitative image or view. The second image or view is referred to as the performative or an activist view and perceives change as an ongoing process of experiences that are reconceived and woven together in different ways over time. Synoptic change are events that happen along a fixed timeline and change is the difference in some state variable from the first time point, T1, to some second time point, T2. In this view, process is defined as a series of changes and agency by change agents is a secondary phenomenon. The second image or view is referred to as performative or an activist view and perceives change as an ongoing process of experiences that are reconceived and woven together in different ways over time. This view observes change from within, looking at how change happens, the role of change agents, and how the organization responds to it. In this view, change is continuous and change outcomes are not deterministic or predetermined. They are probabilistic or possible outcomes. Another important aspect of the performative view is the primary role it gives to agency. For the performative perspective, the more important aspects are what lies between each individual stop or event. The role of agency during the journey between stops leads to multiple possible directions and outcomes along the journey. Obviously, both aspects are important and there needs to be an integrative or conjunctive perspective. If change processes recur, then patterns may arise. The synoptic view might help identify that a change process is recurrent, and the performative view can give an overall understanding of the underlying patterns that lead to the recurrence. This recurrence leads to a situation where stability and change can peacefully coexist. So understanding the patterns is critical to the accomplishment of successful change process management. Many practicing managers describe their experiences in terms of multiple concurrent activities. I use the phrase of having many balls in the air, and each activity is a flowing stream of events that are experienced if not actually managed. The change going on within each stream is constant and inherent to each stream, referred to as imminent. So how should imminent change be viewed? Whereas the synoptic view might be able to describe the recurring patterns of this flowing change, it cannot describe the phenomenology of the imminent change itself. Because the imminent change happens between the stops along the change journey, the synoptic view misses all of it. The performative view shines a light on what makes change possible. And this is based in many dimensions, two of which include rela relationality and temporality. Relationality refers to how different qualities of change are interconnected and related, changing each other and themselves. Substantive or physical elements of change may be independent of each other, but events and experiences are not. They can only make sense when put in context of other events and experiences. I love the quote given in the chapter that every drop of experience is a novel weaving of the world of preceding experiences out of which that drop arises. In other words, every experience results from all experiences that came before it. A second dimension is temporality. This refers to how the past and future combine to affect the present. The past can be interpreted, reinterpreted, and filtered, all from multiple perspectives to project a whole host of possible futures, and both past interpretations and future possibilities are used to construct present actions. The past is referred to as a virtual dimension that can be accessed through intuition, allowing more skilled agents to draw upon their experiences to recover past qualities and apply them to current contexts. Ultimately, the chapter acknowledges the role of narratives that were discussed back in chapter 22. Narratives provide the impulse for many of the potential outcomes in the present. So, 
The performative view focuses on agency and in doing so recognizes the active role required to accomplish and maintain the perception of stability. Interestingly, organizations are described as a flowing stream that generates temporary vortices or, eddy, or eddies that provide a perception of stability in a limited region similar to the eye of a hurricane. Of course, these areas of stability are fleeting and dissipate and are reconstituted over and over. Organizationally, these periods of stability are due to active agency of, a, of change agents. Even though the synoptic view is predominant in many industries, it is important to augment it with the performative view because it provides a picture that is closer to the actual experience of change agents because it can better describe the complexity and fluidity of an organization. Well, that's it for this chapter. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And if you did, please consider subscribing or hitting that notification bell and visiting the playlist of Otis in Space Season 2 so you can revisit some of the videos I've done in the past. In any, way, in any case, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you next time. Thanks! OT in Space was produced by IRL, which stands for Impossible Research LLC. IRL conducts process research on the topics of innovation and industry emergence within the space sector context. IRL also offers services of organization theory consulting, research consulting, and STEAM outreach. This video is intended for educational purposes only.